Hey guys, I'm Kate, Plastic Free Mermaid, and I'm going to try to quickly explain why plastics are making us fat, sick, and infertile, just as my fave scientist, Dr. Anthony J, tells us in his book, Extra Generation. He made a list, uh, the Ill Reproductive System 10 list, of all the chemicals that we're encountering on a daily basis that are affecting our reproductive system. They're known as estrogenics. They mimic estrogen in our body. So plastics are on that list twice. Main ingredient plastics like bisphenol, so this is BPA that you've all heard of. Everything that was lined with BPA or made for BPA was usually quickly replaced with other bisphenols. Pretty much the same plastic uh, that has the same negative health impacts on humans. And also phthalates, another kind of plastic. This is a plastic additive, so that's added to the main ingredients to make plastics fancier. More malleable or durable or transparent or weather resistant. Um, it gives plastic these sort of different characteristics. So both of these plastics are on Dr. J's top 10 list. Phthalates, bisphenol, and we want to try and avoid these because when these estrogenics hit our bloodstream, when we either eat food that's been uh, packaged in plastic or drink that's been packaged in plastic or put creams or products on our body, on our skin, our permeable skin, it's gonna penetrate and go into our bloodstream uh, either from putting it on or eating it in and travel around the body and it's telling our body estrogen, estrogen, estrogen and that's a sex hormone. It's a hormone. So many of our bodily systems are regulated by hormones. This is going to throw our systems out of whack and we're encountering these on a daily basis. So over time, we won't maybe not see effects over overnight, but over time, this constant flood of estrogen or estrogenics tells our body to put on weight to store fat. It causes our emotions to go like this. It can lead to depression. It can lead to hyperactivity in children or ADHD. It's known to lead to heart disease, to increase cancer growth, and also lead to infertility. So this is affecting our reproductive system. And uh, all of this cellular chemistry is uh, altering our, our genes. So we actually pass these changes that go on in our body onto our, our, our offspring, if we're able to have offspring. So big, heavy stuff, ways that you can avoid plastics. I have a million. Follow me on Instagram, Plastic Free Mermaid. Check out my website, I Put Plastics, for my course, How to Live Plastic Free. But also just avoid putting, avoid buying food that's packaged in plastic, avoid drinks that are packaged in plastic, avoid products like face creams that are packaged in plastic. Safe materials to use, glass, metal, cardboard. Um, you don't want things packaged in plastic. Plastic is going to leach these estrogen chemicals in three instances. If it's holding something hot, you know, if you pour hot coffee into a plastic cup, it's going to leach. If the temperature outside is hot and you have your, your water bottle, your plastic water bottle in the heat, it's going to leach chemicals. Um, if, you're, if your sun's cream or your face cream, your anti-aging face cream, if you're in a hot climate and that's hot, it's going to leach plastic into, or estrogenics into your creams. Uh, the second instance is fat. Estrogenics are lipophilic. They're attracted to fat. So if you put anything fatty into, you know, plastic, uh, such as like a latte that has milk in it, and you put it in a plastic cup, it's going to leach. It's attracted to the fat. It's going to go into that from the container into what it's containing. If you put greasy food, greasy takeaway into a plastic Tupperware, it's full of oil. The plastic estrogenics are going to leach into your takeaway food. Same as with your products, if any oil-based or, or if any of the creams have any fat content in them and you're spending them on your skin, the plastic container has leached into your cream. And the third instance when plastics leach is duration. So if something's been sitting on the shelf for years, you know, some of those almond milks or nut milks that are packaged in the Tetra Packs, these are those cardboard with the plastic lid, it's totally lined with plastic. If it's sitting there for a year or months, the plastic is going to leach into that beverage. Cosmetics, personal care products that are on the shelves for years, plastics are leaching. Um, or even at home, sitting on your shelves, they're leaching. So this is what we have to be aware of and conscious of. It's everywhere, so don't be too freaked out because you have the power now, you understand, and you can start making small little changes in your lifestyle. Try to space out, if you have things packaged in plastic at home, space out your use of them uh, so that you're not just flooding your body with these estrogenics. And going forward, try to buy more sustainable packaged items. This is obviously good for the planet as well as for your health and your body. I hope you feel empowered to make these little changes for your body and for the planet. And uh, if you're interested in more of this stuff, I'll be interviewing Dr. J next week. Look for links below this for those interviews. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Subscribe if it's interesting.